Holly, it's great to be here. Great to have you. I'm so excited that we're sharing your journals today. Tell me how you're doing in the midst of COVID. COVID oh, I'm as busy as can be, though I am counting the days until I can go see my twin grandbabies. Aww. So we're, I'm working really hard to get my videos done and some webinars before I go. And this week has been um, painting the Tuscan vineyards, which I am about to send you to post in our Paint Tuscany site. Wonderful. So, yeah, I'm excited for those. It's like you've got to have vineyards if you're going to paint Tuscany, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the first thing we think of. Yeah, we've been, we painted grapes for a while. So they, I think they're ready for the vineyards. All right, so we're sharing your journals today. So uh, where are your journals from that you're sharing? I just grabbed a handful of them. I have um, Alaska, Ooh. Carmel, Ooh. Italy, Spain. Um, we'll see. Watercolors by the sea, you know, different, the Caribbean. It'll be a a mix of whatever comes out. I love it. Plus so I have a few pages. Can I ask you? What was that? Oh, and I have a few pages that I'm reworking some of my journals. So oh. I just thought, oh, I want to show that one. It's kind of fun. Cool. Okay, well, I'm game. The only thing I had a question about was when you travel, do you bring one journal or do you have one that you've already started that you you know, paint in and you just continue or, you know, how does it work? I have a different journal for each location. Okay. So my, for instance, my Provence journal has, has been filled over time. Oh. And Tuscany, I have a new Tuscany journal. Uh, Carmel, I've been so many times, there's multiple journals. So when one fills up, I will get a new one. Okay. Awesome. That's yeah. great to know. Okay. Where are we yeah. starting? Uh, we, let's see, let's start with Alaska. Um, Sitka, Alaska. And the reason I start with that is I decided when I went to Alaska, um, we had a fishing boat up there and, oh wait, that's not Alaska. This one is, uh, <laughs> that I would only use my pen to draw. And what I learned on that trip is that if I just went for it, I, mm -hmm. I could draw just about anything. And it, it didn't really matter um, what the subject was. I just used my pen and went, went for it with my pen and ink. And some pages, what? I said, I love otters. I know, isn't that one cute? So cute that there are otters that were just waiting for us as we were going out on the ocean. And when we'd come back, they just lay on the, on their backs and they were so cute. So I, and I took a picture of that one, but um, they were just absolutely darling. Um, this is the church in oh. Sitka wow that i sat across the street and painted that and i won't show every page but it's um it's good to see that you don't have to do a perfect drawing you just want to capture the idea of it and when you're writing what do you write about on those you don't have to you don't have to share it with us but i'm curious well, on this one, um, the boats were all so quick to get out there. We'd get up at four in the morning and we'd go, go, go. And you get out there and all the other fishing boats are there. And there's so close that you could almost jump from boat to boat sometimes. It just seemed like they were all out there. And I felt like we were part of a big fishing fleet. And I'm so not a fisherman, but <laughs> <laughs> we did pretty good fishing. We caught 48 coho, two king, 
22 sea bass, 13 rockfish, wow. two yellow eyes, and nine halibut. And, you know, I like to eat it. But I have a page in here where I showed all the different fish. It's funny, I don't know what order these are in. But it just, and this was two trips to go out to Sitka. I'd also, oh, here we go. Now, here, all the different fish. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, and then there's things like flowers. Wow. So it's it can be anything you want it to be. With this one, I put a multicolored wash down first, mm -hmm. and then I came back back and painted in the values, which is something I teach in my workshop. And what I oh, Alaska has a short growing season with long days. The flowers this time of year are blooming and and happy. The veggies grow large and plentiful. So their vegetables are ginormous there because they just grow, they have a long day mm -hmm. to grow. And um, yeah, and I usually put, you know, things in the back, like a postcard to help me remember where I was. And okay. sometimes, um, here's a sticker I haven't done anything with, but I think sketchbooks are a great way to record your journey. Mm -hmm. and just have fun with it. And I love, when I switched over from doing fine art paintings on my travel to, you know, big, I've got to do a painting that I could put in the gallery. And when I let go of that and started painting in my journals, I found that I was freer nice. in my work. And I love my journal paintings. I love your journal paintings. Oh, um, so my husband Jeremy, he was he's watching and he says, Love the oh. fish. And oh love the good. fish too. And I actually really like that you the lettering that you have on the side for fish. Oh that? Oh good. Yeah. And I don't think I have pictures of these, um, this particular sketchbook. So maybe uh, it's something you're going to eventually share so we can share it on your social media. I know. My assistant needs to get all the pictures taken. <laughs> I'm working nonstop. There's always more, right? Yes, there's always more. There's always more. Well, when this is all done, I can come out to Utah and, you know, that'll be my, my job. I'll bring Jeremy. We'll, we'll snowboard in Utah and, <laughs> and visit and hang out and also take pictures. Get caught up on the pictures. I'll do another batch pretty soon. Nice. And how, I, so you went to Alaska how many times? Three. Three. Oh. Um, Actually, I think four times. It just gave me something to do besides drive the fishing boat. Once they got out there, I would I would drive the fishing boat while everyone was fishing because I didn't care if I caught a fish. I wanted to catch one fish, okay. and then so I'd drive and and I draw and entertain myself, <laughs> <laughs> and then That's great. A couple days during the time we'd be out there, I would um, just go out and paint. And so I taught I, a workshop too. Oh, in Alaska? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So the thing is, when I, <laughs> I don't know anything about Alaska fishing, but when I think of Alaska fishing, maybe it's I've seen too many um, TV shows or like ice road truckers and things like that. I think of like, scary like the boats about to capsize and the waves are huge and it's stormy and is it like that or is it just, um um i prayed over the boat every time we went out oh my gosh because i wasn't sure it was gonna make it back <laughs> it, Whoa. It, 
boats would have problems and yeah, there were big waves, but my life was never in danger. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm I'm not that adventurous. We we could always see land. Mm -hmm. We weren't like way out on those ginormous fishing boats. It was more of a family size fishing boat. Okay. But Good. that part of me is done. <laughs> If I go back up to Alaska, I will go on a cruise. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, I have somebody in my group requesting uh, the glacier calving oh. uh, painting like that. Wow. That would be so, so amazing. We'll see. I think I have pictures and video. I may not have to go back to get that. <laughs> All right. So we're talking about your journals. And I love that. They're called journals, and so they're not just sketchbooks, or you you consider them both, right? But your mm -hmm. they're journals because they're kind of an account of your travels too. They're kind of like a remembering all the good stuff and putting down like even you know what you fished and everything and all of that. Uh, so pretty cool. And then, so what's our next journal? Uh, Why well, Italy? which I'm doing a Paint Tuscany program right now. And oh, here's two. Now they don't always start out in my journal. Sometimes I glue them in. And this, this was the sunflower lesson that I did for Paint Tuscany. And I just did a super easy vineyard for my group. And these will get glued into my my Tuscany sketchbook. Um, and we will be doing some puppies. Oh, I love the puppies. Yeah, that's coming. Fields of puppies. And let's see, Italy, I've probably shown a little bit of it, but like here's one where I glued it in. Mm -hmm. You know, I glue in a page. You don't have you don't have to always paint everything directly in your journal. You can add it. So, um, for instance, here's a sun, whoops, sunflower, and I made it a pocket so I could put a oh. postcard in there. That's fun. kind of fun. And now it's like kind of fun to show. This is painting the colors oh. down first and then adding the values to it. Wow. So any color can work for you. And um, it's like, oh, what have I shown? What have I haven't shown? This, this one's kind of fun. These are boats in Portofino. Wow. And I was, this is actually from a workshop and I was teaching him how to do the water. Wow. You know, before here, before with, without the ripples and then over here with the ripples in the water Ooh. so my yeah. sketchbooks just have whatever my experience is and a lot of these are lessons mm -hmm. taught on location sometimes they're not great this one wasn't very good but i was eating lunch <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're showing it anyway, even if you're like, oh, it's not my favorite one. It's not great, but it has a good memory to it. Nice. You know, and people think, I love for right here, there's little hats that are hanging for sale. I love that it just, I went ahead and put those in. <laughs> um. Let's see, Watercolors by the Sea is a sketchbook that I started on my Caribbean cruise. And then I've been adding to it as we've been doing the Watercolors by the Sea program. And actually some of these are quick sketch. Let's see, this one's gonna come up in, in there. I think that's, I think that's Aruba. That's just an example of spot color. Do you see this on the screen? Oh, hi, Heather. Hi. 
Hi, Heather. <laughs> Thanks for chiming in. She says, I love Cindy's sketchbooks. Uh, she's, she was with me when I painted a lot of these Ooh. because we went on the cruise together. A month after I got married, <laughs> I went on a cruise with Heather <laughs> and we started um, these scenes. Here's some fun seashells. It doesn't have to be a, a big painting. Yeah, that was Aruba. Okay, I get Aruba mixed up uh, with some of the other islands. There's, I love this one. Yes. This is one of my favorites from Watercolors by the Sea. But in, I don't start out always with the hard thing. I may just do one boat mm. and then work my way out to something more complicated. Is this the same one from our How to Make Watercolors More Vibrant? Yes. Yes. I love yes. that. I love that one. Sometimes they just really work. Not every painting is my favorite. Mm -hmm. you know, some I like better than others. I'm not going to show every page. Let's see. Oh, this is one that I did in Portugal, just as mm -hmm. a quick sketch, partially finished on purpose cool. to show that you don't have to put every detail in. And sometimes you can capture how you feel. Mm -hmm. More when you don't go all the way, when you just put in the bare essentials and leave it at that. I think the quick sketch group has this. They have this, okay. As a bonus. Yeah, it's in there. Oh. Well, I was thinking um, for your new, um, you know, one of the new things we're working on is um, how do you know when a painting is finished? So that mm -hmm. might be a good painting to go with that one. So if you have a picture of that, or if you have oh. one in mind, then, you know, I want to put that together. Yeah, that would be good. I have yeah. a few. I feel like that. We all want to be in Aruba right now. I <laughs> yes. know. I want that 80 degrees. Oh, I've never been to Aruba. Sounds great. You would love it. I you would. would love it. Let's see what's coming up. Oh, nope. Well, here's here's one from Italy. This was more of the stormy sea look. Beautiful. And that was for um, Porta Veneros, which is near the Cinque Terre towns. Mm. So a lot of these were done live, like this one, a live webinar. And I have had my students paint along with me for this. Is it in, which program is that in? Is that Watercolors by the Sea? Watercolors by the Sea and I think Quick Sketch. Sometimes I'll invite two of my groups. Nice. To come. I think someone was at my door. Oh, well. <laughs> Do you, you need to get that? That's no, all right. You have to. It's all right. Um, I have some loose paintings. I Sometimes I take my sketchbooks apart. And so, but I love these. They're from Venice, and I'm going to put it back together again. Um, but these were done on location, mm -hmm. and I was teaching about negative painting the ironwork and how to create those colorful walls mm -hmm. and i love this one in burano i think it is Whoa. with the leaning tower so a lot of these are done right on location here is saint mark's square what is what is heather saying here about amazon Amazon, maybe. I don't know. She's laughing. I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep going. Or maybe she was texting somebody else. <laughs> Some of these I haven't seen, I feel like. Uh, no. <laughs> Have Six. I seen? Hmm. 
Maybe not. Whoa. I love all the colors yeah. in there. The St. Mark Square is just, the Basilica is just so detailed that it was fun to just kind of capture the de loosely capture so cool. the details. And oh, oh, Heather's saying that Amazon was at your door. <laughs> it, it was, Did you order something? <laughs> I, I think it was Nor. I think it was Nora. I'm going to feel bad if I missed oh. her, but I'll call her back. Okay, call her back. And I um, see some people who've just come on, and so if you're just watching now, Cindy is sharing some never before seen sketches from her journals. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I know. I love this spot. Then um, Teresa Gesling and I taught a workshop in Venice. And we were there for 10 days. It was wow. beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. Oh, here's one more. This one I grabbed. I thought it was kind of fun because this is Burano where they paint all their walls Ooh. different colors. And I used a stencil on the wall just for fun. And then I cut out this polka dot shirt as a paper and just glued it in there. Cool. But that's it's just having fun with it. And yeah, you should have that one. Thank you. It's so pretty. Yes, I agree, Heather. It's so pretty. Everything. That's so far. I know it's fun to share. There's nothing, there's nothing really that I'm like, mm, no, I don't like that one. Oh. <laughs> Love painting laundry. Ooh, really? Is that a thing? That's going to be like a uh, future program is painting laundry. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should have laundry in my Paint Tuscany program. So maybe the next one we'll have some walls and laundry and we're ready for that ready for that yes yeah uh this is spain oh yeah and next year i'm going to spain with Teresa gesling and french escapade this is a sketch from our balcony wow in spain where you just start and keep going until you run out of time <laughs> That's how you know you're done. Okay, people, you know you're done when you don't have any time and you have to go. Yeah, that, that can do it, especially when you're you're traveling, you run out of time. And sometimes it's just the angel saying, Okay, she's she's done. She's got to go. And you take advantage of that. Oh, I love the shadows that the laundry casts on the building. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I think Agreed. this is kind of a fun one. Yeah. I like the textures that you did. It's different. It's not, yeah. yeah, I like this one. It, sometimes they just work out. Uh, now on, on Instagram, you're the best, um, or not the best, what, what does the best on Instagram are your doors, and windows and i would say the poppies <laughs> the poppies a lot of flowers um yeah so well um but you're i feel like i don't know if it's related to covid19 or because people are home but your your social media is blowing up right now and you know with good reason because your work is amazing but each and every single post gets like between 4,000 and 7,000 views. I mean, really? that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of people. I don't know that many people. So um, uh, just wanted to let you know that that's, that's happening. That's really nice. Yeah, that's so cool. That's really nice that I can work here in my home, in my own little world, and, and have people appreciate it and join join in. I do have two of my doors from Paint Tuscany. I don't know if I've shown them on here, but I love this one. This lesson, people have done such a good job with this doorway. And um, there were two because you know me, I can't just do one. So I did 
two, where we focused on textures and beautiful colors on the walls. So people ask, well, what do you want to paint? I just paint, honestly, whatever I'm drawn to. And that's what I encourage people to do when they're painting with me. Find something related or change it, change it up so that it's all yours. Nice. And I, I feel like also, we talked about this before, but it's not a simple thing. I mean, you do research and try to figure out what you want to paint next. You don't just go, ah, you know, whatever. I mean, it's, it's like you can only paint so many things. So you put some thought into it and you really are looking at um, what, you know, how it will turn out. Like, so you're looking at it as how will this be as a painting and then also teaching it, right? So you're thinking about, okay, how will I be presenting this to my students? Oh, absolutely. Now for on location, you have to make almost an instant decision. Um, but fortunately with French Escapade, they take us to different locations that gives give us really good options. And then when I'm teaching, you know, first I have to decide what I want to paint. And then I go in and find, go through all my pictures. For instance, the vineyards, I've got a, years of Tuscan vineyard paint photos and narrow those down and then decide which one to paint. And I painted one that I thought, oh, this is complicated. So I painted another one that was very simple. Nice. And um, yeah, I, and I follow my heart on that. And I think about what my students can, can handle and kind of what order might be best for them. Sometimes, yeah, you know, I think, oh, I could do better, but they seem to be pretty happy. Oh yeah. In the courses. I always see what people are posting in your groups. And so they're posting their work after mm -hmm. the paint alongs or the, you know, the webinars and it's pretty amazing. So I know, yeah. people, I know people are happy, <laughs> um, but if you are watching and you're one of her students, you're welcome to chime in and, and let us know how you're doing in the classes and which class you're in. That'd be great. Um, awesome. Are you going to save some journals for next time or do you want to keep showing journals? Um, well, what time is it? Well, watch the time. Okay. I'll, sh I'll show maybe something more because it's always one more, right? Okay. Um, Spain. I'm excited about Spain because we're going there next year. Okay. And this is from the last trip. Whoa. This was... Actually, I think I painted this from my balcony. Wow. Yeah, so we stay right on the water. And there's this village that has fishing boats on the beach. And these were done there on location. And so I'm excited to go back. Oh, and next week, this is a good lesson page. Ooh where you can see how I painted the stonework and the flowers. And uh, next week with French Escapade, Teresa Gesling and I are doing a, a live workshop online with French Escapade. Okay, let me put that on here. French, French Escapade. And we have a, a meet on Sunday at three o'clock Pacific, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're meeting at 10 o'clock online and doing a paint along. Awesome. And I'm painting white walls with blue shutters and pink bougainvillea. It'll be pretty. So you're doing it live, right? So We are, we're doing it live through French Escapade, something that they've put together. And, you know, it's, this is a new experience, you know, discovering how to paint some, some of these things. There we go, here's one, a little balcony. 
Beautiful. Yeah, Spain is a, a journal that I look forward to continuing to fill. And there's there's one too. I think Teresa's gonna paint a scene from this, this viewpoint. So that'll be a, a good thing. And that's, oh wait, but I'll show you one more because I love this one. I'll stop with this. This After we went to, to Spain last year, we went to Collier, France, mm -hmm. and we stayed with, in these gardens. And this, this was my demo wow. from the gardens. And I love, I love that one. Beautiful. So we'll, we'll stop with that. That's enough show and tell. That's a lot of new images that we haven't seen, or at least I haven't. So yeah. I'm super excited. <laughs> and so we're going to continue this next time and probably, I don't know, we'll have to check our calendars and look, yeah. but um, just look out for us. We're going to be um live on facebook and then i always recast these on to youtube as well and also look out if you are in her in cindy's groups so if you're in the groups you'll get a little notification saying that we are live but thank you so much cindy for sharing i'm excited that we get to see even more for next time oh thanks yeah it's fun this is good it's like my this is my social hour right <laughs> <laughs> social hour with me and with your different students yes well, thank you so much thank really you it. thank you so much for being here and thanks so much heather and anybody else who was on and was just like shy about